Hello there. This is a bunch of lost footage that I had. It's a continuation of the last video where I made a deep water culture bed and this explains how it's all interconnected together. Also, I apologize in advance because some of it, the microphone wasn't plugged in and so it's just picking up a bunch of the background noise. Now that the bed is in, I have it covered with some foam just to keep the water from getting all filled with algae. My problem now is that I don't have time this summer to finish building out the rest of the system, but I want to use this bed. So what I'm going to do is bridge this bed into the other one. And it's sort of a risky move because it's essentially a siphon between one bed and the other. And then on the far end, I'll have a pump. And as the pump pumps the water out of this bed, it'll make the water level a little bit lower and that will draw um, water through the siphon. Now I used these bridge siphons that I made up in the old uh, dome greenhouse and interconnected the beds. And I used to get a lot of flack about uh, how these things are a failure point. I'll have to say I never had a problem with that. Nobody ever kicked them out or anything, but it still was a risk because if this comes out, um, it could uh, drain. Then uh, when I can drain out that uh, older eight foot bed and move it, um, I can take this whole thing out. So this is just a temporary solution. Also, after reviewing all this, I think I owe you a better explanation of how this all works. So I'm going to show you some of my high quality diagrams and explain the whole process and then show you how it's all being put together. First, I'll install the bridge siphon and partially bury it underneath the ground. And then I flood it through one of these valves and it just floods the center part. It's an easy way of getting it somewhat primed. And then I suck the air out of the rest of the siphon and that completes the link between the two beds and the water can start flowing and equalize between the two beds. Once the water is more or less equalized, I can then throw a pump in the far end of the bed with a hose going uh, back to the original one. So that essentially just creates a, a big loop of water circulation between the two beds. I have no idea where I put my PVC cleaner. Um, I'm a big fan of using it. It really does clean off the pipe. This is a low pressure application and temporary. So. The standard cement without the cleaner is going to hold just fine. I'm going to dig out a trench to let this sit into just to reduce the, the tripping hazard. Up, I'll prime the lines. Now that most of the water is up to here, it's very difficult to finish priming because it comes out the other end. So the easiest way to do that is stick hose on it, just suck the air out, and we'll start it right up. hard to see on camera. There's some debris coming through that siphon now. And on this side I'm just gonna drop in this DC pump. And I'll just bury this line a little bit just to hide it. 